you, Dr. Van Kenford. As team captain, I want to say welcome to all of you and thank you for your time. This is a very important day for us. After years of preparation and days of hard work, months of hard work, we have put together the best in our senior projects. On behalf of my team members, Kale, Sandy, and Myron, I will also like to thank the professors, classmates, friends, for all of your help and you made it possible. Thank you. And now, enjoy your presentations. It is my privilege to be the first presenter. Today, you're about to witness the first mass communications capstone in Spanglish. Not English, not Spanish, but a mix of both, Spanglish. Now, if you don't speak either one of these languages, don't worry about it, because you will be able to understand what is going on. I do warn you, though, if you don't speak Spanish, there are a couple of clips, video clips, and audio clips that are completely in Spanish. But don't worry, I will guide you through them. For my custom, I have produced Spanglish, a relocation program for, for Spanish-speaking students. At the age of 13, I arrived to the United States from Mexico. I felt quite lost and confused. The culture, the language, the new school system, it was too much to handle. I was fortunate to have great teachers and tutors that helped me make it through. I graduated from high school, and now I'm about to graduate from college. But not all of my Spanish-speaking class, uh, classmates were able to make it through. Some of them just gave up. My freshman year in high school, there were nine Spanish-speaking students in my class. Five of us received a high school diploma, three of us applied and went to college, and in a few days, only one of us will be graduating from college, me. Until this day, I describe my first years in the United States as the worst and most uncomfortable years of my life. I don't want other Spanish-speaking students and other Spanish-speaking families to go through the same thing. And that's why I decided to create Spanglish, the relocation program. <coughs> Spanglish has two goals. One, to help Spanish-speaking students adapt to the United States to lower the number of Hispanic dropouts. And two, to encourage Hispanic students to go to college. The deliverables for my capstone are a research paper, uh, three radio shows, a MySpace page, a promotional package, five video productions, and a high school classroom presentation. To complete my capstone, I used five different technologies. SoundForge for the radio and the audio for the video productions, Final Cut Pro for the editing of the videos and the TV commercial, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator for the design of the ads, logos, brochures, graphics that I use throughout my capstone. And Easy News, a program that helped me write my scripts for the TV productions and the radio productions. The topic for my research paper is analyzing and comparing the culture of Latin America and the United States. In order to work with both cultures, I needed to understand the similarities and the differences among them. During the research, I found out that in the school year 2004 to 2005, close to 550,000 students dropped out of high school in the United States. A quarter of them were Hispanic, 24.6% to be exact. That is a high percentage, and that's when I knew that I needed to do something about it. I produced three radio shows. They are pilot radio shows to propose to a radio station. I host the shows in English and Spanish so that a person who speaks either language can understand what is going on. I also play music that is related to the theme of the show and segments of information are included in a fun and interesting way to keep the audience, uh, to keep the attention of the audience because I have to keep the attention of two different people who speak two different languages. The topics for the three radio shows are money in the United States, artists who decided to go bilingual, and a trip around the United States. I will now play for you a clip of The Money Show. You enjoying your money show yet? Ya sacaron su cambio? Coming back, we'll have all the information. Ya viene la información, but now, keep enjoying our music. Sigamos disfrutando de la música y a ver, ¿de qué color es el dinero?
Verde! Green is the color of the money, and that's the name of our next band. This is Green Day singing a holiday here in WRFB. This is Spanglish. Echale! After the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, President Lyndon Johnson authorized new 50 cent pieces. Los primeros medios dólares con el retrato de Kennedy comenzaron a salir en 1964. The first half dollars were minted in 1964. Since MySpace is a very popular website among teenagers, I decided to um, I decided to design a Spanglish MySpace page. The reason behind having a MySpace page instead of a regular website is that teenagers will be able to meet other students that are going through the same thing or went through the same thing. Also, they will be able to interact with different applications that MySpace offers. And for Spanglish, it will be easier to use MySpace to network with teenagers, parents, and other similar as associations. Now, let's take a look at the Spanglish website. In this Spanglish website, I try to keep the same kind of, uh, the same theme for the website as well as with the Spanglish program. For example, I use notebook backgrounds, I use music that Latin American people will like, and also people that in the United States will enjoy. Okay, give me one second. For those of you who know about mass communications, you have to know that things can happen in the last minute. Apparently, Murphy was invited today. <laughs> we told him not to come, and he showed up. On the MySpace page, you will be able to see that I have a list of blogs. In the blogs, we will be able to post links that students can get help with to do their homework. Also, let me flip through it. Also, students are able to become friends and add their own comments. Also, on the MySpace page, I'm able to post mm -hmm. clubs that they will be interested on. Clubs that they will be interested on. For example, I have a video about the Latin American Association and a club they have for students to be able to go and get encouraged to go to, uh, to college. That is my target audience. Therefore, that's what I needed. And we're going to give it two seconds. If not, I'll move on to the next deliverable. Oh, there it is. Murphy left the room. <laughs> Currently in the MySpace page, we have 120 friends. These are students that are in high school or are currently in college. And they are able to join the page and help others with homework or something that they need. This is the page that I was talking to you about. We're going to lower the volume because when you open it, music comes up so that students can rock onto it while visiting the website. That's it. The, on your right, you can see the part where I talk about Spanglish. At the bottom, I talk about who I am. On the left, you can see how I give them contact information where they can reach me, email me, either to get the videos or either to get uh, advice on school and, or how to apply for college. There's also a live, uh, library where they can chat with a librarian across the nation and ask them questions to find books. I have uh, Latinos in the USA, which are people who have succeeded, Latinos who have succeeded in the United States, and they're people we can look up to. And at the bottom, we have the logo to your left. I'm very proud of this logo because everything came from this logo. Why I use the hand? Well, in English and in Spanish, we use the same term to say, give me a hand, or give me five, let's be friends. That's why I decided to go with a hand. And all of those are our friends, and at the bottom you can see how they have commented, uh, made comments and talked about, well, what they think about school and all that. <laughs> 